Hey Michal, it's Yoni here. I'm looking at your um, submission from last week and catching up with you, give you some feedback on what it is that you're up to. Um, I like the idea for the theme of the character that you've got, but I'm pretty much agreeing with Keith on one thing, that you just need to really show something a bit more visually about why he's frustrated. Uh, one of the few things I can take you through is um, things that jump out at me straight away are very much like um, the initial um, shot in frame one. It's really, really, really close to the character, probably too close. So I'd actually pull that back so you can actually see a bit of headroom there. And also I'd take him, instead of working towards the camera like that, sharpening the stick, take him more to a side so that you'd have almost like if he was holding the stick like this in shot and so you can see him much better motion than actually looking straight towards the camera like that and that will improve your staging just a little bit the motion's the same you could even ch uh, change the actual camera view to frame it a bit more like that now the thing that jumps out to me as well is on frame 77 he's looking at his work and what he's doing is that he's holding the hand just like that against the lance, no thing there. But really what you want to do is again move that camera further back and have him lower the weapon so that he can actually test the tip which is what he's been working on. So really you want to almost put the interaction there so that he's t testing his, his thing. He might even look at how the weight is on the actual lance as well and check that as well. So more about the process of what he's doing at the time over there. And now he's got a lot of them over here stacked up. Again, we can't see them too clearly because, again, your camera, I think everything in this sh uh, shot, you've really, really, really zoomed in just a little bit too much. It's the same as um, what gets me is that uh, on frame 191, he has this internal process of that he realizes that everything is useless. And we don't get any visual reference of why that happens. We can't even see his face. Now, Stu has got no facial expression, so he can't go... But even with that, you see what my hands have just done. I've just created that frustration before he does the hit to the lance rack. And maybe it would be better if that the lances are almost like stuck in the ground and we can see something like an alien ship in the background coming towards him with some sort of death ray or something like that. And he kind of like gets the realization of, oh my god, I'm not fighting against that. I can't. And that's what causes him to panic and despair. So I think that really you can keep moving the idea that you have, you know, of that old versus new, old primitive weapons, new kind of like sci-fi-ish type scene. You can make it work. But you really need to sell the staging much, 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 much better, okay? And really focus on the hands. The hands can communicate a lot of ideas of frustration, of despair and dropping down. All those emotions, try to uh, pantomime them out, you know, try to even, you know, stand up and say, I'm angry, I'm angry, I'm, you know, and do different ways of being angry repeat that emotion to yourself a load of times and see what you do in your reference with your hands and everything else like that and try to express yourself more inside the body than just through the story and hopefully you should come up with some interesting stuff okay but anything else you need to know just drop us a line and i'm looking forward to see what you come up this week see you later bye